Rob Lincoln uh, said last month that the team would part with any assets uh, it had available to it if it could get to the finish line uh, towards the championship on a deal. Is Kyrie Irving the type of team, the type of player that could uh, help your team get to the finish line? Um, that's a Rob question. You guys see him when y'all get back to LA. I told y'all a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't, I don't speak for our front office. Um, and my mindset is to, um, you know, whatever lineup or whatever group that we have is to make sure that we prepare ourselves the best way we can to go out and win. Um, obviously, that's a um, it's the word you use, duh, question, when you talk about a player like that. Uh, Darvin used the word hoopla to describe. Who? Hoopla. Darvin. Um, Darvin, sorry. Um, about, you know, things going on with the record, the trade deadline, just a lot happening this week. Um, do you sense that's having any effect on this locker no. room? I mean, that's part of the game. That's, we got, what, one rookie in here? What's up? Shouldn't be an issue. It happens every year. The trade deadline happens every single year. It's, yeah, it's not okay. So, and you, it's a business. So, you go out and play. You go out and focus. Um, and no matter what happens, you you know you're still a professional. Be a pro. So we've just heard LeBron talk about whether Kyrie Irving could help the Lakers win a championship, and he said obviously, duh, but. We are going to hear from Russell Westbrook after I talk, speaking about trade rumors because he has been involved in a lot of them. And as you can see on screen here is his brother and in his likes is Lakers won't make the playoffs if they trade Russ and LeBron and Phil is too old for the childishness. I'm ready for Russ to be in a better environment. So that's obviously pointing at the LeBron uh, tweet where he tweeted out the eye emojis in the crown obviously to Kyrie's trade request and then Phil Handy replied to that with the eyes as well because obviously if, if Kyrie gets traded to the Lakers Russell Westbrook will be going to the Brooklyn Nets and other trade rumors for Russ is to the Chicago Bulls for Zach Levine and whatever else goes along with that I did hear another one it was to the Miami Heat in straight swap for Kyle Lowry but I've heard that that is getting shut down the Miami Heat don't like that there's to the Utah Jazz for whatever the Utah Jazz can offer. Something like Malik Beasley and someone else. Terry Rozier in Charlotte has come up. And I don't think all of the ones I've listed are that likely. And I think the most likely one will be for Kyrie Irving. I know LeBron really wants Kyrie Irving. He's pushing for it. He wants a reunion with his former Cavs teammate. And also in the game today or tonight against the New Orleans Pelicans, Russell Westbrook did not close the lineup. Patrick Beverly and Schroeder were in instead of him. And quite frankly, I think Russell Westbrook should have been in the lineup. Both Pat Bev and Dennis Schroeder were not having good games. Like even if you've got Patrick Beverly in the lineup for defense, Russell Westbrook is still a good defender for a guard as well. He's explosive. Sometimes his decision making on the offensive end isn't there, but I still would have liked to have seen him in the closing lineup, especially because he was having a good game as well. But here's Russell Westbrook talking about the trade rumors and then that closing lineup situation. He kind of got into it with the reporter, but here it is. I know trade rumors are nothing new to you. Um, do, you do you feel added pressure coming toward the deadline uh, with just your name circulating? Ever? No, I do not. That's not up to me. Uh, like I said, man, I've, I've known this is a business since I was... 18, 19 years old since I got in. My, my dad taught me that at a young age, just when you get in to this league, it's a business. Um, and people make business, whatever decision that they make. And I make sure I'm ready professionally, like I've always have been and always will be. Russ, just to clarify, I know sometimes you go to the bike in the tunnel. Uh, it didn't look like you were in the bench area for the closing minutes of the game. Um, uh, what, what was the reason? <laughs> You answered it already. <laughs> was that where you were? You were on the bike. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Is that you were on the bike? I, yeah. I let's 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 be let's just let's just be real. Don't, let, we don't gotta make a thing out of it. I'm always on the bike. I got nothing. I'm, I'm all in. I've been all in since day one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop you there. I've been all in since day one. I've got nothing. I'm very supportive. I'm a very supportive guy, teammate. Since I've been in this league, um, I compete every night. I do my job. Um, when they asked me 
I go out and compete. I make no complaints. I do what I need to do. And I'm grateful for an opportunity. Um, if my number's called, I'm always ready. If it's not, I sit there and get warm because I want to make sure that I have an opportunity. So whenever it is called, I'm ready to go and not super stiff. So like the um, however many games we play, anytime I'm not in the game, I'm not on the bench. I'm always on the bike every single time. So I want to, you know, 